As you look at the Progress 69 cargo craft now uh, just uh, about five kilometers away from the International Space Station. Yeah, Icarus is like a dream. I think it will move science from a static perspective to a dynamic, more holistic view. I really like the idea that we are sending something out into space, this unknown frontier, in order to better understand the mysteries of our own planet. You are the Icarus project takes the standards that have been used up to now to another dimension. You get a new sense almost of what's going on in the planet through the eyes and other senses of animals. Today is the end of a long march. We started 16 years ago with an idea, and I mean, that's why we chose the name. We thought, you know, everybody thought this is crazy. It won't, it won't fly. And we said it will fly. And today it flew, it flew. Sputnik, the very first satellite ever inspired biologists in the 60s to come up with a revolutionary idea. Radio tags that trace the migratory movements of animals. Until today, most radio tags only focused on one specific aspect or species, but in order to decode the global interplay of life, a completely new type of technology is necessary. We already can track some large animals, but what we need is a system that tracks small animals. And not only track them, not only give us a GPS position, but also tell us what the animals are doing. An international team of engineers and scientists is collaborating to make Martin Wachowski's dream come true. The Icarus system has been completely revamped with the help of the Russian and German space agencies and various technical experts. Of central importance, a huge receiving antenna designed to provide the essential data. It's capable of observing hundreds of thousands of animals in nearly every corner of the world and making the intelligence behind global flocking behavior visible. The new approach of Icarus is that it's an optimized system for tracking animals. It gives us a, a knowledge of exactly what the animal is doing. Is the animal sick? Does the animal have a problem? Uh, does it interact with other individuals? The insights from that are, I think, unbelievable. There, there's, there's so much that animals can tell us. the perfect place to understand Mother Earth's complex interactions is far above the planet. That's why Icarus's antenna is on its way to the International Space Station, where it will be installed and operated by the Russian partners. During every orbit, the antenna scans the Earth's surface 16 times a day. The data is then transmitted to ground control. This allows scientists to observe animals throughout their entire life cycle. For this, the tags can be continually reconfigured. In addition to the GPS sensors, the accelerometers also show the behavior of the animal. A tag weighing just five grams also collects data about body orientation in space, temperature, air pressure, and humidity. What's really special is that this is easily produced. There's an, a solar panel, a circuit board, and a battery. And this will be uh, stripped on animals like a backpack or in a little leg band on the back of a fish or as an ear tag. So this is the most versatile little chip that we can give to animals. And in our mind, it will revolutionize uh, biology. In this way, animals become intelligent environmental sensors. They can tell us so much about the condition of our planet and even warn us just in time before natural disasters strike. Animals have evolved for millions of years. Their sensors are tuned to the environment. They have better hardware. Their noses are better, their ears are better. And they also have better sensory systems to deal with this information. If we take many of those animals together, then we have a network of intelligence distributed sensors that are evolved to sense the environment. This could help us understand the spread of epidemics and document the results of climate change. A database called MoveBank compiles the information from all the projects and provides it to scientists all over the world. By using the new tags, 
scientists everywhere can become involved. It's a unique opportunity to tackle complex questions and urgent problems with an ecological approach, profiting from the interaction between humans, animals, and the environment, and uniting scientists from diverse fields. One of the most exciting things about the project, you know, in addition to the new technology and the improved tracking and the less expensive tags, is this idea of having uh, this international collaboration. It's bringing together kind of a network of people in a lot of different places globally. And we can show public what's going in on. In places uh, where we as human observers couldn't go. So it will help us bring movement from the local to the global scale. Once we put together all the information, then we have a completely different, a new understanding of life on the planet. And the information being gathered isn't merely raw data to serve this project. For the very first time, a global knowledge network is coming to life that utilizes the intelligence of the animals to protect them. In other words, this will be the internet of the animals.